my paintings of other famous paintings in the Western canon are based on Duchamp's 1919 Dada gesture of putting a mustache and a goatee on the Mona Lisa. With my two primary icons, my two brands, the rocking TR and the shifting corral, I take art and make it into Texas Reds. The first of these subjects are the cave paintings at Lascaux. There was a mystical connection between the painters and the ceremonies they did inside these caves. Primarily animals, but again, some mystic connection between the predator and the prey. And one reason I chose this is because one of the methods that these incredible painters used was to blow paint through straws or something like that, just like a primitive spray, which, of course, I use. So <laughs> the painters at Lascaux were the first spray painters, and that's why they are honored here. There are millions of copies and reproductions and reinterpretations of Monet's water lilies. It's something he worked on for 30 years at the end of his life. An infinitude of water lilies. I have improved something here because I have changed the vegetable into the animal. These are not water lilies. These are manatees who have returned from the land and gone back to the sea and have disguised themselves as water lilies. I've turned the vegetable into the animal because you can feel the tension in the water. Another colossus in the Western canon is Van Gogh's sunflowers. He painted them for Gauguin to decorate the room. Texas Red has made the sunflowers into suns, into seven burning suns. Van Gogh's sunflowers were dying, and yet Texas Red has turned the dying sunflowers into suns that give life, that produce affirmation, that produce optimism. And you can see a very subtle rocker in one of the suns. I mentioned my approach was based on Duchamp. And nothing is more famous than Duchamp's urinal that somehow went missing. My version of his urinal is this painting that makes you seasick. You could be drunk in a bar or on a cruise ship and find yourself in the urinal, always signed Armut, and it was stolen and is a major narrative device in our film, The Red Dream. Certainly, in my estimation, Picasso is the greatest 
of Western painters. And one of his greatest fascinations was painting his mistresses seated in a chair in a room. My version of a large body of work is the 37 version, his portrait of Marie Therese. And what I have added is a naked Marie Therese underneath. So you have two mistresses, the naked and the clothed. And I think that was what Picasso had in mind. René Magritte's portrait. Of men falling from the sky or suspended in the sky, Golconda. I have reduced to a single figure. The multitude has been reduced to a single figure suspended in the sky. And instead of a bourgeois industrial background, We have an apocalyptic background, a post-nuclear background. And so this one man stands for all men, re-emerging in a new future. Jackson Pollock was a meteor, an explosion of action and ideas. This is my version of his 47 painting, Galaxy. And I've improved it, I've rectified it by putting the artist in the painting. Actually, he is in the painting, but stepping out of the painting. Probably to have a drink. And as he steps out of the painting, I suggest you stay tuned for part two.